So I love using music from the event over the top of all of the B-roll of all the cool bands and all of the random stuff that I get up to over the weekend. And I thought I was going to use Clone Play, who are a tribute to Coldplay. I won't be doing that. A night small hour and I can be safe. Tides are trying to swim against the thought be. Jam 2024. I am especially excited about this year's event because I am here in the Volkswagen Transporter. I will be joined by Mrs. Urbanark Overland tomorrow. She, however, is used to a few more creature comforts. It will be fine as long as it doesn't rain. favorites over in the trade stands we got pen pod the first year i came to camper jam i actually spotted a pen pod in the camping field wasn't even on a stand he's now on the stand for the second year running in that video i do a bit of a walk around absolutely cracking overland trailers do check them out we've got brown bird they've actually got a uao table on display they recognize the greatness their vans are absolutely beautiful They've got a van currently up for raffle, £6.50 a ticket. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think I've bought about 20 tickets now. The van is absolutely gorgeous and you could potentially win that for one ticket, £6.50. Check that out, their link will be in the description below. And we of course have custom camping. I have currently got my windscreen cover and my pop top cover in place. Now they've got a banner that says 10% off at the show. If you're watching this because you couldn't make it this year, you can actually get 10% off by using the code UAO10. So you're not missing out. So grab yourself a bargain. Let's go take a look at what the main stage has to offer and let's pray that it does not, in fact, start raining. It's crazy hat night. Check this guy out. How you doing? Yes, lads. Look at the hat on it. That is a belter.
by now, it's crazy hat night. But that takes the biscuit. Back to the van to get ready for the evening. After all, it is crazy hat night. And we go again. Let's see what Friday night has in store. Camper Jam 2024. I have just been stopped mid-flow and the sentence started with, because of you. <laughs> show me what, show me what because of you. Because of you, we got our eyes. Yay! Influencing. I'm not getting any work done. I guess I'm getting stopped. I don't know if it's the growth of the channel. I mean, I'm totally buzzing on it. I'm more than welcome to say hello to as many people that are willing to stop and speak. No, no, no. You said hello, you, were, you, you came to me. <laughs> how's, how's it going mate, all right? These videos, these event videos, they're not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Camp Jam don't even know who I am. So I could quite as well say, Camp Jam 2024, it sucks, but it doesn't. I really do like it. The vibe is awesome. The layout is festival vibes. There's a couple of stages. You can walk from one to the other. They've got different bands on. They're, they're showing the football. They know what people want. There's plenty of toilets. Every toilet I've been into so far is absolutely gleaming. One of them looked like it had literally just been hosed down. It looked and smelled brand new. Thank you to everyone that stopped me so far and to everyone that's going to stop me because it does seem to be every 20 steps I take. I was just explaining how much I get stopped. One guy photobombed and this guy's just saying hello. So, right, how are you doing? Yeah, how's it going, mate, all right? Yeah, nice good, one. Yeah. Well, Camper Jam, I mean, check it out. Look at it, fantastic. <laughs> Bass Fest next. Yeah! Happy festivals! <laughs> Which is absolutely fantastic because it means that people are watching. And if you're at this stage, please do consider hitting the subscribe. Let's go take a look. So I just went back to some guy's van and he gave me his sausage. Balanced breakfast there, me old mate. <laughs> <laughs> vans year on year as I come to these events. Check this van out that's got the bronze Mac ATs. What a look that is. And these guys are even lowering their vans still. So they're not even swampered vans. They've just chosen a totally different style. And I love it. That side of things, probably because of the level of comfort, is on the up. And I love it. I love the look. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Urban Arc Overland. We are off to the football. It's finally stopped raining. Mrs. Urban Arc Overland is joining us. I've got a seat, a table, and a bottle of wine in a bag. I've never really done that. I've never done the whole pitching out for an evening. I've always got too much to do, too much to film, but we are gonna see if we can find ourselves a spot and join in with the football crowd. My guess, two on England. I just hightailed it all the way back to the van for my drone to show you guys this. Absolute scenes. Sorry, mate, what did you just say? I said, you're better looking in real life. <laughs> now that the sun is out and the wine is flowing, well, there's a tiny piece of me that hopes this goes to extra time. Does that make me a bad patriot? Show and shine 2024, and yes, we are in it, just about that. We are more show than shine, I'm gonna say. There are people out here polishing every last inch of their vehicles, the pride, and you can tell the time that goes into these vehicles, but they are out here making everything pop, shine, shimmer. Honestly, people have put so much effort into these vans, and it's absolutely lovely to see. I'm the only swamper here. I'm the only one that isn't low or real low. I made sure my wheels were clean, I made sure my tyres were shiny, and that's about it. I cleared out all of the gear and put it in the Mrs. car, which was very handy. I don't know how these people turn up, camp in these vehicles, and make them look like this on a Sunday morning. I can only assume that they do have a trailer or an arsenal of people following them to help them out, because they're just, they're almost like unused. They are like new. Fantastic show out here. Weather's holding off at the moment. The guy did say that he wanted to grab me on the microphone. I don't know if I'm totally happy about that, but here we go. Yo! Bob's up! Must be loved because not only did Mrs. Urban Arc Overland stay in the transporter last night, she's now sat in the rain watching me talk to the public at Show and Shine. has been everything weather. It was beautiful, now it's tipping down, then the sun comes out, then it's tipping down. It seems to be every single year here. I know it's not the organizer's fault, no one can control the weather, not yet, but this is absolutely horrible and it's just mass exodus, people are just leaving. So, don't know what that means for the rest of show and shine. I'm quite grateful actually, because my van looks way much better in the wet. Might stand a bit more of a chance against this lovely bus here. This is dog bus, by the way. In truth, I hope these guys get the rosette because I bumped into these guys yesterday in the camping field and they were already cleaning it. Absolutely lovely couple, proper adventures in this thing. They usually have two dogs with them, that kind of thing. Honestly, give these guys a follow on their socials. Hopefully I'll put that down in the description. 
Yeah, but what a wagon that is. Look at that. Very Fast and the Furious-esque, the old Toyota Supra. Awkward. I've been approached twice by photographers from Volkswagen Bus who are part owners, same company as Camper Jam, Camper Mart. Have I been in a magazine? Yes, is the long and short of it. This weekend, in fact, a few people have actually come over and said, oh, this is the van from Volkswagen T-Mag this week. I said, yeah, so more people than I thought still like to hold something like a magazine rather than just doom scrolling, which is absolutely fantastic to actually hold on to something. But yeah, when it rains, it pours. Waiting for a bus and three come, all of that. Never been offered to be in a magazine ever. And then three times in three weeks. 